humans have been playing games forever. And lucky for us, we've left some archaeological evidence along the way. Join Geert and I as we take a look at some of the oldest games in history, what they meant to us, and how we played them. Roll them all again. Yeah. You don't trust me? Full Senate? That's fine with me! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready to play this game? I'm ready. Okay, all right. So we are playing Senate today. You ready? What we have to do is, this is a racing game. Sort of similar, I would say, to the Royal Game of Ur, but it's a little bit more of like a, not even a tactical thing, it's just kind of a strange game. But of course we don't know the rules, so this is kind of like how we've just deciphered it based on our evidence and relating to other things. We could be playing it completely wrong, but this is how we have sort of come across it, agreed upon things. Let's set it up. <laughs> you want your own? Okay. So what we have to do is set up all of our pieces alternatingly along the board like this. Do you want to be the cones or the circles? Cones. You want to be the cones, I'll be the circles. Normally there's just one set of dice, but you want your own. So these are stick dice. You'll notice that they have two sides on them, right? There's the party side. The party side. And the lame, lame side. normal side. In ancient times as well, they would, one side would be curved, one side would be not. So it was a little bit easier, but we have these very fun ones. What you do is you kind of, you know, and then you, exactly. And based on what falls down, you will have your number of rolls. What you have to do is make sure you get your pieces, starting from here, around the board, like this, back through the board, and off the board. You want to be the first one to get all of your pieces off of the board. It's sort of like this spiritual game that they had in, by the New Kingdom. Anyways, it had a lot of religious connotations to it. What would happen is this was supposed to be like a passage. The word senate means passage. So it's for your ka, your part of your spirit, uh, your spark of your life. You know what gives you that little pizzazz, your je ne sais quoi. That's what your ka is. You have a ba and a ka, and your ka has to go through the afterlife to gain immortality. Like ra, my ba and my ka, they got a ra. Sure. You have to, <laughs> anyway, there are certain rules. So if you land on, for example, one of my pieces, we swap. So wherever you were, wherever you started, we swap spots. You don't get kicked off the board, you just get swapped. Of course, what you can do is you can kind of protect all of your pieces. So if I have pieces like this, if you want, if you coming up, you cannot get this one, you cannot get this one, but you can get these two. Okay. But these rules are also just like so just made invented. Up. Like, yeah. sure, that's one way you could play this exactly. game. Exactly. When we land on these four spots here, these are the safe spots. They're safe. If you're on there, you cannot get swapped, okay? What happens is, though, you can't move from there. You get off this square, you need to roll the correct number to get off the board. So okay. five, four, three, or two, and then you can get off the board. How we roll, we take our sticks. The first one to roll a one, <laughs> Stupid. First one to roll a one gets to go first. Before we do that, yes. can you set the scene for me? Take me back on a historical okay. word venture. Well, this one, because it has such a high connotation with the afterlife, sometimes these are played during funerary rituals. Sorry about your grandma. <laughs> yeah, she really yeah. loved games, man. Yeah. What we have from the archaeological record is more of an elite record of archaeology uh, with the tombs and such. We find that they were played more with social gatherings of the rich, but they could, obviously it also could have been played by anybody. We found graffiti versions of this, everything. But if we're going to pretend, let's pretend that we're yeah. like pharaohs. So you are King Tut. Nice. You have, they found, 19 really, years old, they found a really nice wedding. Somewhat crippled. So, I challenge thee to a game of Senate. May the best soul enter the afterlife. Whoa. First impressions. The board looked cool before, but you painted it and it looks beautiful. Thank you. You greened it up, makes it look like lapis lazuli, but greener. Pieces look great, which we 3D printed. Who goes first? First right. person, did we explain first yet roll one. how what the rolling we'll do works? Is, these, are the, these are the ones that count for numbering. Yeah. These are the ones that don't count for numbering. So if I roll like this, it's okay. a three. That's a three. And if I roll like... This, yeah. it's a one. Yeah, but, but if you roll all four of these like this, it's a five. <whistles> okay, and that's the ideal one. You wanna get all of these on the other side. All right, I'm the pawns. Yes, you are. You're the spools. Yes. All right, let's Ready? do it. Also, if you roll a two or a three, it's just one turn. If you roll a one, a four, or a five, you also get a second roll. And you do the roll before you move your pieces. That way you can have more spaces to move and you can split them up between your pieces. Okay, so okay. I, if I get three, I can move one, three separate pieces, one each. If you have two rolls. Whoever rolls one first. 
One. Five. <laughs> no, that's four. Three, so I only go once. One, two, three. 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 Two. One. One. Should you get to roll twice. again. Straight away? Yeah, you roll straight away. Oh my god, not on the board. Four. So that's a seven. You can split them up. Well, sorry. One. I guess roll again. Two. Cuatro. You can roll again. Five. So Full had, Senate. You had four and five? Yeah. That's nine. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So I gotta put it up, right? <laughs> yeah, I gotta give him a chance to fly around. That's one. So roll again. <laughs> That's one. I get the bird. Okay, but now you have to roll a five to get it off. Oh, I don't remember. No, too late. You touched it. I explained the rules to no, you. It's not clear. It was. I like these new, like, different roll tactics that we have. Bird. And thus the stalemate begins. <laughs> yeah. Five. Mm -hmm. Set it. <laughs> My piece. I don't know. I thought I. Quattro. <laughs> Full Senate. <laughs> One. Because <laughs> you don't put it off the board. Well, off the board, not because it's there. It does feel a bit like like we're playing Senate. Well, we're playing on a Senate board. Yeah. But we're just playing random ass. Just throwing some sticks around, having some fun. Right. You try my, my yeah, tactics. Do. And based on nothing, these rules really. Like. No, based on like you know descriptions, like little little kind of phrases here and there, yeah. some paintings on the walls, the board pieces. We know we have a complete set because they they have drawers in the 17th dynasty onward. And just lining it up like we did at the beginning is based purely on, well, that's where the Ankh appears, and they kind of fit. Well, and these are all different throughout time, and um, lining it up is just based on our depictions on art that they're all on the board. Okay. So it might have just been like, that's a full game, you know? It's a full in motion, but we don't know. She's coming for us, boys. <laughs> You're so destructive. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Back here. I'm safe. So you're safe. Mm -hmm. I can't get you anymore. No. One, two, three, <laughs> four. Weird. You can't get any of my pieces. <laughs> I can't. I can get my pieces away from yours. One, two, three. Five. Full, Full Senate. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Senate. Three, four. <gasps> Full Senate. I feel like I need some like weird like eighties. Full Senate. And just keep them all safe. Attack time! <laughs> Full Senate. No? Oh yeah. That two. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four. I don't think you're understanding the rule of the game is to get them off the board. You know this, right? Mm -hmm. You want them off the board. You don't want to hold them there forever. Sorry. No. 
Get them off the board. Do I? Yes. Get them off the board. Get one more move. Just gonna be. Why you? <laughs> Full Senate! Did you just get 10? Double Senate! <laughs> Not since the pyramids <laughs> were being built by aliens has someone rolled the fabled Double Senate. Get some pieces off the board. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Get something off the excited. board. No. <laughs> You're cool. You're gonna be stuck there. Double Senate was less satisfying. <laughs> I don't think I spent it well. I'm trying to understand like what the major tactic is in this game. Like how to really win it. Like what strategy do you need to play fast and hard? Four. Choices. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm even blocking all of these so I don't have, get a chance to go on them. Alright. <laughs> oh no! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And that's it. One. Two! How did those throwing sticks? That's so mean. Boom. Good game. Good game. Senate. 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 So it's 1-1 one, one overall in yeah. the Tournament of the Ancients. Mm -hmm. um, what did you think of this game? It was a little like harder to win. It was le I find it was like For less. You. <laughs> it was less fast paced than the royal game before. There was less action. It wasn't bad. It was a bit sort of a uh, roll and move, roll and move. Yeah. There were elements of tactics that came up later, like moving in a little three block. Yeah. If you could, but you rarely could. But mm -hmm. I had like little threes, and then I felt stronger. My tactic was to block up this as long as I could. It didn't really end up playing off because by the time you got there, mine were all gone because I was so much better than you. But then it's very hard to judge the game because we're not really judging Senate. We're judging some Egyptologist's idea of yeah. what Senate may have been. Exactly. So then... Should we get it, give it more credit than we're giving it now just as like a, an ode, an homage to the ancient Egyptians? Well, they, yeah, they get extra points because I'm blaming this on modern Europeans. I did like that I won. That's always a plus. I think it was very congested at times. Maybe that's the point of it, you know? Just to like, all the trials and tribulations you have to do to get to the afterlife. I felt a bit vibe flow of the river, which is a very Egyptian theme. Yeah, very rivery. I think I've seen in movies, I think it was in the Ten Commandments. Are they playing it in the Yeah, in the, the one with Charlton Heston. And there's a scene where they walk in like, oh, Moses, just a moment. Ah, oh, ooh, what's with the plagues? But we do have full sets and yeah. this picture of it. So we know throwing <laughs> sticks, Seven pieces each. Yeah. This is the board. Yep. And more than that, we just have to be inventive. Yeah. So guys, yeah, tell us what you think. If you like the game, if you have different rules that you want us to play by, just go comment down below. Give this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Big thanks to Mr. City Games for sponsoring the game. What are we playing next? Mehen. Mehen? Which will be the tiebreaker between <gasps> the 1-1 one, one victory. Yes, yes. I feel like the snake god is on my side. Big thanks to all my patrons on Patreon. My patrons are actually getting a really cool thing with this video. They're gonna get all of the files that we used to cut these boards, all the game boards. They're gonna get that exclusively on my Patreon page. So if you want access to those, go ahead, become a patron over on Patreon. The link to that is in my description below. Here's all my socials, and as always, stay dirty, my friends.